Today we are going to be making a really delicious sweet and spicy ground venison recipe. Now this uses some fresh ground venison. Getting ahead of myself. Fresh ground venison. I know a lot of us have a stockpile on our hands. Don't always know what to do with it. So to a heated cast iron, I added a little bit of sesame oil. And then I'm gonna add my ground venison. And we're gonna brown this up until it's nice and crispy. And while this cooks and browns up, I'm gonna make a very simple sauce that is sweet and spicy, it's soy based. So I'm gonna take a little bit of soy sauce, some brown sugar, honey, good local honey, some red pepper flakes, and you can add as many red pepper flakes as you like. I have about a teaspoon here. We like a little bit of heat in our house. If you don't, add less. If you really like heat, go ahead and add more. Some diced white onion, a little bit of minced garlic, and then some ground ginger. If you are not buying your ground ginger in one of these tubes, you are missing out. It is so convenient, so easy, and it keeps forever in the fridge. You can find them in the regular produce section. Gonna whisk this together until it's smooth. Make sure that honey gets all mixed in there. All right, that is nice and combined. Our venison is pretty well browned. You can hear that crisp. And venison is very lean, so that's also why I added the sesame oil. You need a little bit of fat in there, and the sesame adds fat and flavor. Now for even more flavor, I'm adding this sauce. And this is going to cook down to a smooth, silky, sweet and spicy sauce. You will not believe it. Just gonna let that simmer to thicken about eight minutes or so. The sauce is thickening up beautifully. You can see how it's really absorbed into the meat. So now is the perfect time to add some snap peas. These are just fresh, about eight ounces of snap peas. And you wanna add these towards the end of cooking because you don't wanna overcook them. They'll turn to mush and be really, really unappetizing. So by adding them in in the last minute or two, they're still gonna be nice and bright and crisp and be just cooked enough. Okay, so it's been just a couple minutes. You can see they've gotten a little bit more tender, but they've really kept their structure. So to plate this up, I'm gonna take a little bit of rice. This is just some sticky rice. Make a nice bed. Okay, we've got our bed of rice. We're gonna get that delicious sweet and spicy venison on there. And of course get those pea pods. And this meal really stretches. I mean, you've got one pound of venison, eight pounds of, or eight ounces of snap peas, and you can get at least four servings out of this, if not more. The rice really helps it stretch too. I'm gonna Garnish with just a couple sesame seeds to bring that flavor back in from when we sauteed the meat and a few scallions. And dinner is served. Mm. Perfect. <laughs>